the Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome folks from beautiful Merle's Inlet, South Carolina here at the Wicked Tuna Restaurant. And listen, you haven't seen this young lady back on our show. It's been about four and a half years. Kim Hardy from Laura, South Carolina. She is the former executive chef and the owner of Dilly Beans Restaurant in Conway. She's now kind of moved on, but she was gracious enough to come back to share some of the recipes that she's formerly cooked, okay, at Dilly Beans and the catering company. Kim, right. thank you so great much. Great to be back. Well, thank it's you. great. Now, I, I am all about what you're about to cook today. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, this is a simple recipe that anybody can follow. What I've got here started off within the pot because actually we have, you know, we're TV cooking today. Yeah. So I've blanched some things off with chicken stock. I take potatoes. I use fingerling potatoes in this and carrots. Um, you can use peas if you like. I'm not a big pea fan, so I didn't do that. So I, what I've got in the pot is butter, I've got celery, onions, fingerling potatoes, and carrots in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically take the chicken pot pie to a whole nother level. There so we're going to do chicken pot pie. Don't Ooh. be scared to put too much butter in there. You can never have enough butter. Butter is always better. Listen, Marie Callender ain't got a thing on Kim That's Hardy. exactly yeah, right. That is go. exactly right. <laughs> don't, you know, I tell people, you know, and don't worry about exact measurements. Just when you're cooking, have fun with it. Just, yeah. just cook to taste. Next time if you want to add a little more, add a little more, add a little less. There you go. Okay, so we've oh. got this here. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Okay. This is all cooked down. If you wanted to cheat, you could use canned vegetables, but I wouldn't do that. I got you. All right. Fresh so is always the best. What we're going to do to make it a little bit different here is yeah. I'm going to add some flour to this, and then okay. we're going to add some tarragon to it. It's going to give it a little sweet flavor. Right. So this is basically just like making gravy. And so the flour is going to thicken it up. Right. I got you. So we've got this going. Okay. Add a little more. And remember, if you um, add too much flour, just add a little bit more cream, milk, whatever, water, whatever you're making. Mm. All right. So we're going to take that. And then I'm going to put some tarragon in here. Okay. And that's just going to give it a little bit different flavor. That smells great. All right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock to this. Okay. And then, Bob, we're going to add some more calories to it. No, okay. <laughs> I take, think I know what that is. This is heavy whipping cream. Heavy cream. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Goodness. To make it extra yeah. good. If you're on a diet, this is probably not the dish well, for you. Well, that's okay. Then they, they can use other alternate sources for that. You can use really. skim milk. You yeah. can get by with that. Or you can just lose the weight and treat yourself to this. That's it. See? So. You, you eat it on a Monday, you can lose it by Tuesday. That's exactly yeah. right. It just depends on how you want the consistency of this. You yeah. can add a little more broth or a little more cream um, to make it not quite so thick. I would add a little more if you're planning on serving it later. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to put a little bit more on this, and this is a nice, generous portion here. Oh, wow. Everything is ready to go, nice and simple. We'll put a little pretty on it right Garnish there. Garnish it up. Yeah. And that's it. And you can also do those in smaller portions for appetizers if you like. And um, generally, pretty much everybody likes this. Chicken pot pie. There you have it. Yep. Well, Kim, thank you so much for being a guest thank again. You. It's great to see you again. And folks, listen, I will tell you, buy and eat local. And remember, it's simply a matter of taste. Log on to CertifiedSEGrown.com and see for yourself what's fresh on the menu. We'll see you right back here again next week on another edition of the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSEGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina-grown products. It's a matter of taste.